God did not stop creating on the sixth or even the seventh day. It is only by God's constant creativity that atoms bounce, ants build, and people live and move and have their being. God's creative power sustains all of existence, and God's joy paints each new sunrise in the sky and hears every new baby's cry. In childlike wonder, God tinges the leaves with color and blankets the hills with snow. God gathers the waters in endless waves and piles up clouds and airy mountains. God watches the wasp threateningly build its nest and directs the butterfly in its flight. We do not call it creation because it was once created, but because it is endlessly created. And we should not wonder at what God once did, but stand in awe before what God willingly continues to do. Most wonderful of all, God willingly gives us the freedom to create as well. All of that to say this. Advent is the celebration of the new creation, of the moment when the artist took a part in the improv play and fundamentally changed the story arc. It is the central moment of all of time, and every story and action in this creation is ultimately an echo of that song and an imitation of that act. Just as God's creation is new every morning and radically dependent on God, so are we in Advent reminded that God's re-creation is ever refreshed for us all and for this world. Just as Easter is the yearly reminder that no day, person, time, place, thing is too black for God to redeem it, so taking Advent seriously requires that we ask again what part of our life needs God to recreate it and how we can take part in the recreation of our relationships, our priorities, and the part of God's creation that we have the privilege to touch.